Welcome back everybody, I'm VR Lad and you're officially part of the VR Army. Today, I am back with another Blade and Sorcery Nomad tutorial. Many of you have asked me, can you install multiple mods onto Blade and Sorcery Nomad on the Oculus Quest 2? And up until now, the answer has been no. Now, a Nexus mod user called Doggo Bass has uploaded an unofficial mod manager to Nexus mods that bypasses the need to edit the JSON file directly and adds a mod folder to the game library. This allows you to install multiple mods onto Blade and Sorcery Nomad, and today I'm going to show you how you can do it. So, guys, make sure you like the video, make sure you subscribe to the channel because there's going to be some more incredible Blade and Sorcery Nomad videos coming out in the coming weeks. Also guys, just to let you know that this mod will probably quickly disappear as official mod support is incoming in the next couple of weeks. However, if there is a card above, click that here and that will take you to the most up-to-date Blade and Sorcery Nomad mod in tutorial. Ooh, that was a mouthful. Now without wasting any more time, let's get on with the tutorial. So lads, what you're first going to want to do is plug your Oculus Quest 2 into a PC. Now that could be any PC capable of just transferring data across devices, so pretty much any PC. A laptop will work also. Now when you plug that in, you may get a prompt on your Oculus Quest 2 that says this. Just click allow and you should see Oculus Quest 2 show up in your PC directory. Now for me, this is how mine shows up. So what you're going to want to do now is you want to go down in the description and you want to go to the mod manager which is mod 32. Click that, pop down your address bar and you should see the mod loading patch for update 10. So go there, download that. When that's downloaded, click show in folder. Now what you want to do is you want to use something like WinRAR to extract this so you can get at the files. As you can tell, I've already done that there. And you'll see a base.json file. Now we're going to replace our original base.json file with this one. So what we need to do, we need to go into our quest directory, Android. We're going to go into OVB and then we're going to go to Blade and Sorcery. So there we go, we've got our base.json file. Now what you want to do is you want to back this up in case anything goes wrong. So you could just want to copy and paste there to a safe area, for example, like your desktop. Then what we're going to do is we're going to delete that. And then we're going to replace it with the one in the update folder. Drag that along. And there we go, you can see that it's on there. So now what you want to do is you want to load up Blade and Sorcery on your Quest 2 and you want to load the game up until it gets to the character creator section. When it gets to that part, just simply close it down and plug your headset back into your PC. What this will do is effectively create a mods folder. Go back into your Quest device, go to Android and instead of going to OBB, go to Data and then go to Warfrog Blade and Sorcery click on this little files icon here and you should see a little section called mods so we need to just go down all the mods that we want now a quick couple of things i'm going to use a slow motion mod the, the silent slow motion mod for this so i'm just going to pop that in the address for just to get that if you click requirements it will tell you if you're able to use this mod with the mod loading patch if this shows up you will be required to this mod. Any other mod that doesn't require this, if they .json files, will not work, okay? So you've got to check if the requirements have mod loading patch up day 10. But that being said, you want to download the mods. I've already done that one. And we're going to use the better spells native. So we're going to requirements, we've got mod loading patch up day 10. Go to files, download. So we've got better spells. We're going to extract that here once again. And then guys, it's literally as simple as doing this. So you want to take your folder of each mod. You want to copy them. You want to move back over to your blade and sorcery files on the quest. You want to move into mods. 
and you just want to paste the two folders into there once again i've already done it but i'm just gonna overwrite everything copy and replace copy and replace do this for all conflicts and there we go so we've got the silent slow-mo folder in there and the better spells folder there let's see how it goes let's test this out so guys as you can see because i've got silent slow-mo on when i go into slow motion it doesn't have any sound around it which proves this mod does work it's very hard for me to show you how the better spells mod works but i can assure you that it was working at the same time as well has this been helpful let me know in the comment section make sure you hit that like button and the notification button so you always know when i'm going to upload a video and hit that sub button i would appreciate that make sure you join the vr army because i want you i'm vr lad thanks for watching and i'll see you soon peace